So please welcome this week's special guest, Steve. <laughs> So, Alice, what is Steve to you? This is Steve, and for over 17 years, we have been having an argument about a courgette. <laughs> Bob, how do you know Steve? This is Steve, and I won his appendix off him in a bet. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Lee, your relationship with Steve. This is Steve. He landed his helicopter to tell me off because he saw me shushing him whilst he was in the sky. <laughs> Hi there. Um, Bob. Uh, Bob, just remind us of your statement. This is Steve, um, who I won his appendix from him in a bet. Right. <laughs> so, go on, do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm not willing to give you any information unless you ask for it. You're making me ask. <laughs> You're making me come to you cap in hand. Yes. I'm going, fill this with your nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> fill this with, what, with whatever corrupted <laughs> boulder dash comes out of you and then I will put it on my head. <laughs> I'm so fire to it. No. So how do you know him? We were both members of what's called the Middlesbrough Supporters South Club and we watched the occasional football matches together as Middlesbrough supporters in London. So you'd go to a pub and watch... Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, usually the same pub, the Witch Chief in Borough. That sounds plausible as a pub. I bet that exists. Can we just stay with that? <laughs> <laughs> OK. And one day you're there watching the... Is this when the bet is... is uh, uh... Funnily enough, no. Oh. Right. <laughs> the match had finished, we stayed around for a booze, and me, Steve, and a couple of the other lads, we went back to, um, not Steve's house, but one of the, um, our fellow Middlesbrough supporters who lives in Lant Street, just beyond the Wheat Chief. How does the bet come about? We played darts. All right. We played darts for That's months. That's nice to leave the pub, go home, play darts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then my du the duvet was a great big bar towel. Just... <laughs> they still have bar towels. They're more like metal grids now. Yeah, the they've gridded them up. They've gridded them up and raised them. Yeah. It's, it's all yeah. preparing for A1 yeah. to take over. So... AI, sorry. A1! <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that film with Will Smith was called A1? <laughs> so, Bob, I have had my appendix removed. Me too. <gasps> And the only reason I knew I needed it removed is because suddenly, in a fit of pain, it started to proper bubble up. So, how can Steve now bet his appendix unless it's the day that it starts throbbing? He had it out as a child and it was in a jar with a little red top. And they'd, they'd come out red, but over the years it had turned yellow. And I thought that was a very nice transition. Colour <laughs> uh, yeah. red to yellow. And when it finally goes green, you're allowed to go, aren't you? <laughs> Does the bet come about? The bet comes about because I won, and I think it was quite a lot of money, 50 quid or whatever. Steve wanted a final game. Yeah. I didn't want a game, so I demanded, if I win, I take your appendix. Right. It's on the shelf with some wisdom teeth. <laughs> but why is his appendix there? It... Ask Steve. <laughs> As you well know, I'm not allowed to ask Steve. No, but... but you're not in Steve's flat, are you? No. You've come to this flat straight from the pub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I realised... <laughs> no, I realised that. Yes. Yes. He just brought it with him to the game. Oh, did I say it wasn't Steve's flat? Yes, you did say it wasn't No, no, Steve's. it was Steve's flat in Lant Street. I do apologise. Okay, I mean, you definitely said it wasn't Steve's flat. Well, then I'm a fool and I'm ashamed. <laughs> He's trying to weigh up the odds here. <laughs> did I accidentally say the wrong name, or did he bring all bits of his body to the game <laughs> and put them on the mantelpiece? Okay. And he's very wisely gone for the wrong name. <laughs> it was Steve's flat. Yeah. Uh, suddenly. Um, <laughs> and, and so the various body parts are on the shelf <laughs> already. And you win both his wisdom teeth and his appendix.
Just the appendix. Oh, you left the teeth. Yeah, I didn't fancy them at all. all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had me wisdom teeth out the other day. Did you? The other day? You no. probably did that yourself in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But what yeah. about Bob? Bob, he, he tripped over his own details. If you're basing your decision on my uh, mistake over the flat, I advise you strongly against that. <laughs> You, yeah. see, you can see what he's doing, can't you? Even though, apparently, we've totally caught him out. We've totally caught him out. And he said it was someone else's flat and the appendix was there. Mm -hmm. Should be it. Game, set and match. Mm -hmm. But, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what if he did that deliberately? What if, oh, my mistake. Yes, of course it was Steve's flat. Oh, dear me. Head in hands. <laughs> and that's just luring me in. <laughs> Isn't it? Like when the Norman soldiers pretended to run away. And the Saxons came off the hill and then they turned and they cut them down. <laughs> I, I think, David, you should actually sit this one out because you are traumatised. <laughs> Thank you. I will take a bit of a sabbatical. Yeah. Uh, we've ruled out Lee. Mm -hmm. Now you two decide between <laughs> the other two. I like the way you did that. It's completely up to you two, but not, not Lee. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> If you're on holiday, are you going to be having an argument for two hours over a courgette? <laughs> Academics, that's the kind of thing they argue about, you know? That's true. That is, like, proper full-on banter to them. Yeah, yeah that is true. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, I can re rest assured it is Alice. I think it's the courgette. Can I, I can rest assured. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> David. Yeah. He's worrying me again. Listen, <laughs> listen. I don't know. Do I think I, I don't see, know. Actually, no, 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 you're on the phone. He's Bob. affecting her now. It's actually Bob. <laughs> it's you, Bob. It's Bob. Okay. It's time me. to decide. Well, I, I mean, <sighs> <laughs> okay. I think this could break him. I do think Steve looks like someone who could have a seventeen-year row about the genetic makeup of a vegetable. So you're going to say it's Alice? That's then, what yes? I'm going to say. Yeah, we're going with that. Ooh. That's what we're going with. Steve. <laughs> Would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Steve, and Alice and I have been arguing about projects <laughs> for 17 years. <laughs> yes, Steve is Alice's bickering buddy. Thank you very much, Steve.